Hey, Nick Seuss, guess what's happening today? Mm, I don't know, really. We're gonna spend a bunch <laughs> of money outfitting the shop, so Heck yeah, we need a lot of stuff. A real milestone here, and that milestone is we have electricity everywhere now. We have plugs and uh, two things that allows us to plug things in, and also we can start setting stuff in place and we don't have to worry about being in the way of the electricians, so. That's Yay! What yeah. kind of stuff came in here today, you think? I mean, we got a good start. Pretty pivotal. <laughs> you know how you know this shop is now official? Not because of the slot machines, even though that is a pretty big deal. Ready for it? He's he, gone. He he anyways, gone. A thousand bucks on it later, I ready? I just had a thousand. Count down, three. Two, one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have to bring the energy from the old shop over here. I mean, you know, it's not necessarily a great fridge. Right. It's not a tasteful fridge, but it's the right fridge. It's our yeah. fridge, dude. It's our fridge. It's our fridge. So, so Beavis is here with the chin. Look and at that sucking jaw, dude. Wow, strong, dude. <laughs> and we had a, a good friend of the blog send us over some pizzas, so we'll actually be able to eat those. And our other good friend sent us a little pizza maker, so we'll be able to heat those up. And then we're going to be outfitting this thing with a bunch of drinks. We brought some from the garage, mostly alcoholic. I mean, that's a huge step, though. If you're going to spend a lot of time here and do a lot of good stuff, you have to be able to sustain yourself. So Yeah. He's right. He's right. Pretty soon we'll have a pooper. It'll be full tilt. Dude. Yeah, I think for right now we're just doing the old uh, squat on the hole. Yeah, you basically have to aim very well. Make sure you put the tape back on it every day. <laughs> Get the tape back on it, dude. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we've got a good list going over on the whiteboard. It's a mixture of you know functional things that we really need and fun things that we really want. So we're just going to go on a nice little shopping spree today and uh, see if we can get this shop rolling a little better. Get the shop shopped out, dude. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little, what, a little Home Depot, a little Harbor Freight, a little, who really knows what? Maynards, dude. Yeah. Menards. Local legend. That's yeah. <laughs> we got a bunch of fabrication stuff we need to get because we got two JZ, JP, JZ, JZ, I don't know what it's called yet. Two JZs. We got that thing coming up. Um, a lot of action on that soon, so we gotta make sure we're ready to do a bunch of fabrication and it's pretty also, much that. We need the goods. A lot of other stuff just to make this place fun to hang out in. So. Right. Well, let's do it. Professiones. Nick, we're going to your favorite spot. Where's your membership to, card? Listen here, dude. This is an elite club, dude. People oh, know me here, dude. Okay, walk in the middle of the road, people look at you. Let's funny. see it. Let's see it. Yeah, dude. Don't look at this. Oh, don't look at that either. <laughs> don't look at that. Let's get in you here, dude. Blur that blur. out, dude. <laughs> so we're getting uh, shelves here, I think. It maybe drinks, maybe some other stuff. It's a big place. There's a lot of things. Big place, a lot of people. We need that for the shop. Oh, we do need that. Ooh, rules. Classic Nick Seuss going right for the food. <laughs> I mean, I want to cook my friends a nice supper, you know? We're done with the mixed nuts. Yeah, Look at this. Whatever makes you happy in the shop, I'm supportive. This sucker's pretty sweet. This is cool. I think we need a little bigger. It looks gimmicky, though. Yeah, everything really does. <laughs> All right, we'll continue on. This is something that Daniel would like. Look this at that, dude. Nice dude, three part, oh. freaking fondue hot dude. Little three gang, dude. Little three gang fondue. $109, because it's adjustable height. That's still not bad. I think that's 400. That's 409. Yeah. That's a nice table for a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, that's really cool. Wow. Okay, so this is only 200 bucks here. Not bad, man. This was 500 in a Craftsman. Remember yep. that? Yep. Yeah. Look and those were the freaking blowouts too. Yeah. Supposed blowouts. I mean, 309. Dude, ultra HD, dude. It's ultra HD. Oh my gosh, look at how nice this right shelf is compared to the one we got. Oh, we got screwed oh, on we shelves. Got super screwed. This is so much better, and it's less money. What yeah. the and it's boltless, dude. Wow. Okay. I even like that one right there, too. Dude, this could be a nice incoming shelf. Yeah, for yeah. incoming shipments. We're thinking about that as well. Because it would just hold boxes. Hmm, interessante. Gosh. How'd that go, Doug? Things happened. We did some damage in there, but we, good about it. we got some good stuff out of the deal, dude. Good stuff, good deals. Yeah. So we'll so, talk about what we bought here. We bought this giant ass cabinet. This is going to be for the welding area. So Doug can put all his welding stuff in here and it can be shut up so we don't get a bunch of uh, dust and dirt, debris all over it. Debris. I like that. I like that. And we got a couple of storage racks, nice storage racks. I think uh, at least one of them, maybe both of them are gonna be over like in the working area and they'll hold all the solvents, all, you know, coolant, fluids, all that stuff will be over there. Everything you need in a garage where you're working, doing mechanical type work will be on those shelves. 
and then we got a bunch of other stuff we don't really need but <laughs> especially nick's pair of pants Listen, over here dude, didn't uh, need that when you find 3830s you get them okay i need the 3830s so we got some fire extinguishers because you guys are talking about us not having these in the shop so we got it we got some ice melt for some further safety and then uh, like doug was saying some shelving what else we got protein we got man protein, protein dude protein, you gotta yeah. keep your protein right dude <laughs> You got to keep it right, dude. You got some freaking markers. We got some tea to keep your mind straight, dude. Big freaking clipper from Alberta. It's coming this weekend, so we got to get the freaking salt in here, dude. We need the nitrous oxide, which this isn't, but it is close and it tastes better, in my opinion. <laughs> we'll get some NOS. They just we'll didn't get have some NOS. Stuff. We'll get or it. Did they have NOS and you just didn't get it for us? Whoa. Yeah, let's load this Whoa. up. Whoa. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. What is going Doug, on here? Dude, luckily, luckily, there are many more stops to make on this trip, so we'll get some NOS. <laughs> The home where Good people home depot this is the depot for your home <laughs> it's not called the, the shop depot. depot but you're at home dude but when you're at home you're also at the depot when you're here your family when you're here you're buying tools that's when the plan you're though tools, you're here. you know what i could really go for just some liquid in my body mm. very thirsty we just bought like 10 cases of drinks yeah you're not wrong driving around with them unbelievable <laughs> You guys are the worst. Well, you people are the yeah, worst. Yeah, the deals. Turns I'm, out. I don't know about deals, but I mean, I mean, I guess it's sort of a pretty good deal. I don't feel bad about it. So it turns out they were running special, a promotion, whatever it is, where if you buy one of these giant kits for $400, which is a drill, which is an impact, two batteries, and a charger, you get two tools or a tool and a battery for free. So Not we bad. got this kit, and then we got the cordless angle grinder and a battery for free. And then uh, we're also picking up just the standard little corded angle grinder so pretty happy about that yeah we're just discussing airline fittings if someone knows more about airline fittings maybe they can comment and come to a conclusion but you're not really sure what to buy yeah the stuff at home depot i don't think we're on board with so right. we're gonna move on from that but yeah we're gonna check out some extension cord stuff and then i think it's on to our next stop which is the harbor freight so weird all right, Nick, spent a bunch of money. What did we get? We got a lot of good stuff on this. This is a good bounty, dude. Enough bounty to fill up the back of that truck, dude. We got some freaking power reels here, dude. Two 50-footers, which is a total of 100-footers, okay? We got this so we can spray Leo down when he gets dirty or out of control. It's a yeah. good way to control him. He's like a cat. And we got <laughs> this guy right here, which is a star, right? We got this hammer drill, which brings the power, packs the punch, dude. You got this little freaking fuel torquer, dude. She torques your face off, dude. Comes with a battery. Pretty cool. Little bag. Two we'll batteries. never use it. Two batteries, dude. We got this freaking handheld grinder for free. Boom. And then a bunch of crap in there, a new battery, and then some diamond wheels. And then we got a regular wheel on there and all together. This was a good bounty. Yeah, so I think our total was pretty darn high for the day so far. We're looking at roughly $1,500. I think we're about $1,500 deep, but I mean, this is, you know, we've been saving money for this, you know? So everything you guys help us out with, with buying the parts on the parts site, you guys donating on Patreon, some of that stuff, we've been putting away in anticipation for getting a shop and needing to fill it up. So right, we that's planned, it. We plan for this. It hurts a little bit. It hurts a little bit, but. That's okay. Yeah. One of the last stops here, and maybe the most important stop. I mean, you know, yeah, we're not gonna go on a shopping spree to outfit our new shop and not come to Harbor Freight. Yep, so. oh, boom. We're coming to Lane Bryant. <laughs> I was going to get some plus size women clothing. Oh, what the hell, dude? Maybe like that plus size coat you wore for the Honda thing, remember that? Anyway, yeah, liquidation sale today to too. Like a freaking M. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> well, boys, Harbor Freight did not disappoint. They didn't, dude. We got a lot, another bit of freaking bounty, dude. So we got a press this time. We got a couple seats. What else did we get? Man, we got uh, a bunch of air fittings, actually. Despite having some reservations about getting Harbor Freight air fittings, their universal ones felt really nice. So we're going to give them a run. So we bought a bunch of those. Yep. We bought uh, a cheap vice. Yep. Granted, understand it's not very good, but it's just going to kind of be a secondary vice, not our main one. And then uh, I think that was about it. Some oh, seats. we got a... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got the we got seats. seats. Yep. Roller seats. got some fittings or something and some other things a couple die grinders die grinders oh yeah some cookie discs and the air ones bucket. hey we oh got yeah a bucket. bucket first shot bucket. bucket oh and we got all sorts of like o-ring and e-clip and cotter pin kits just really loaded all up the on goodies. Those. all the goodies so. well i don't think well boys it's time to unload look this is the lowest that we had just all beer, like, come and liquor, come on, Real dude. Real old stuff, dude. Lots of old stuff. Nick doesn't drink the old beer. I don't really care that much about it, but. I mean, I don't really care, but that's real old. 
Come on, dude, use your muscles. Last time I drank Modelo, we were in Colorado. Hercules, Hercules. They still haven't landed that yet. Watch out for that, what dude. What the hell, man? <laughs> well, wow, this is a lot of stuff. It was all on a day's bounty here. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. There's stuff in the back of the truck, too. So, so how about this? We go ahead and unload it, and then we'll talk about how much it costs and what we got and everything else. Sound okay. good? Okay. <laughs> All right, boys, we got the haul unloaded. We got a bunch of stuff here. Nick's playing around. Whoa, how are you doing? Leo, why would you do that? We lost some, we lost some stuff. <laughs> and so we also got the new light ring on, so if you like some POV style hopefully, other videos. Hopefully it looks good. Wow. <laughs> we'll give them the, the ESPN one-on-one. -on -one. Doug, tell me why you failed at everything except for, I don't know. We don't have enough time for that. You guys don't want the videos to be that long. So anyway, we got a bunch of stuff here, Doug. Let's talk about it. Man, we got all sorts of good stuff. So I think the highlight for me is probably the tools. So, okay. I mean, we got the new Milwaukee fuel stuff. So they we got, didn't take this off. Yeah, we got some clips to um, take care of. Okay, that. we'll handle that. So we we bought it. This is not yeah. stolen. <laughs> we got a nice drill. We got a nice little impact driver. So that's really cool. Came yep. with a couple batteries and a charger, and also for free. It came with this little guy right here. Yeah, pretty cool. A cordless angle grinder, which would be really nice for being mobile around the shop. And a battery. Yeah, another battery. Another battery. That was a good deal. It was around deal. somewhere, so that was yeah. that was a really good deal. Oh, that's the corded unit, right? And then, yeah, we also got a corded angle grinder that we'll use over in the welding and fab area just because, you know, a lot of times you're just leaning on these things hard for a long time if you're notching, doing whatever. We don't want to mess around with batteries. Sometimes, 60 bucks. Honestly, how do you say no? Great deal. So, looks like a bunch of Harbor Freight stuff, too. Oh, there we I go. A couple of fire extinguishers. We'll probably get a couple you know, larger fire extinguishers down the road, but at least we've got something now for some level of protection. And then, yeah, pretty good little Harbor Freight haul here. So, that's a tool for one of the angle grinders, but you know, extension cord, it's decent. Who doesn't need one of those? And then we just got a ton of these little kits because we use these things all the time now. They're super cheap, and they're just very convenient to have around. So, a couple sets of cotter pins, some E clips, a couple different sets of O rings. You never know when you need that stuff. More under here roll pins, C clips, boom, all sorts of good little miscellaneous things. Um, got some cookie discs, whatever you want to call them, fiber discs. So we use those a lot of times for cleaning ga gaskets. They're really slick. So picked up a couple of those. We got a couple uh, little die grinders to go along with those. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, Cheapies, just, man. Seriously, man. These things are like 12 bucks a piece. Of course, they're not as good as, you know, high quality ones, but they work. They last forever for doing lightweight jobs. Can't beat them for the price. Boom. What else? Got a little brush, dude. Don't forget the brush. The brush for grooming Nick Seuss. Our buddy Frankie's here. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what else? We picked up a cheap little vise. Just, uh, it's gonna be kind of like a secondary vise. So, you know, not a great one, but it'll go on the bench just for holding things for us. A couple little roller chairs. Heck yeah. Which are just, you know, always good to have around. We got a couple of these uh, extendo extension cords that will mount, you know, here 50 and there. 50 feet, man, 50 feet. Yep, yep, yep. And then uh, what else do we got? Oh, so the sprayer under here, this is kind of oh, yeah. cool. So we learned that little trick when we were in Florida. Take one of these bad boys, mix a little water and a little simple green in it or whatever, and then you can use it to spray down your machine before you power wash it. Works really, really nicely. Look at that. Harbor Freight chairs, baby. We assembled two of them offline, as they say. <laughs> That's a good unit. Nick Seuss is standing on our other shelves, which is pretty cool. Heck yeah. And then the last final piece of the puzzle. Actually, there's one more piece of the puzzle. There's more pieces of the yeah, puzzle. Yeah. So this is, yeah, this is going to go over in the welding area over there. Just because you make a mess over there, right? You're grinding, you got metal dust flying all over the place. So we'll be able to put nice things in here as well as tools and supplies and keep them clean. So that'll be that'll, sweet. That'll be good. And then over there, we haven't assembled it yet, but we got a 20-ton uh, Harbor Freight press. Just you guys have seen us use it all the time. Absolutely ridiculously great tool for 145 bucks. Right. So lots of assembly required there, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> There's a lot there. It just folds right right apart, dude. <laughs> Weighs about a million pounds. This thing but. weighs, yeah, even with two people, it was a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it was made with like 19 freaking 20s railroad tires. <laughs> <laughs> Those things work great though. If you got space for one, like that's Just a must get a dang for the press. Price. Yeah. Yeah, so simple. Get a press for the price. So what else happened over here, man? So we got some drinks and stuff. That's really no big deal. Obviously, you guys saw the fridge already. I mean, this is a pretty big deal to me. That's yeah. A big deal. So to be able to come here and have drinks. We don't have a spot to put. Up? Should we load it and see what's like, what that's I mean, like? Might as well load some of it, man. You know? Yeah, let's unpackage that, load it up, and then show them the fri finished fridge. It'd be like MTV Cribs. Yeah, I got these pizza pies all the way from Chicago. I got the Asa Brock, Brock, and then we got some of these <laughs> Premier Proteins. <laughs> Rented. A little fifty dollar hitter right there. Good work, dude. In my house. I oh, know what, what was that? Do. A little fourteen you know, hitter. A little forty dollar bag. Yeah, this one's done. You know, I got these straight from Vegas. I know some people in Vegas. I got this drywall. We just picked this up on this dolly, looking tight. You know, dolly. You know, I got this grinder. XP dude, I ain't worried about it too much. Yeah, we got twenties on that sucker. Freaking Walker has suspension. Me and Walker used to be boys. Yeah, I just picked this up. This is a new shop car. We're gonna do some work to that. Turn it on the street, make it flip. Yeah, I got this guy right here too. Check this out. Yeah, think about it, dude. Then I got this right here. Dude, I'm gonna play him this out, dude. I ain't worried about it too much. We got the big street tires on it, dude. I got my buddy at the shop, side by side vlog shop. You know, he hooked me up. You know, dug a D fresh. He knows how to hook it up on the on the freaking on the pow pow. You know. Then I got this bathroom. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> we got the sink, dude. We got the zap. I like to thank Zap. What's up, Zap? Got this bark box, dude. What's up? That's how we do where we're out from, dude. I got that protein power. Cause I'm trying to get the power for my protein. You know what I'm saying? The monster keep your mind right a little bit. Nestle while they're stealing it from Africa. Sorry about that. Power rate is power for your eight, dog. I got these icicles. Really, you know, they ain't frozen yet, but they will be. You know, pizza, pizza pie. Just gambling. <laughs> I'm trying to turn this into a real haven oh for Nick God. Seuss. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> I used to love to watch MTV Cribs when, uh, I, was a, when I was a kid, dude. Oh, I guess before we go, Man. let's talk about updates on machines. This, oh, this yeah, will be a random yeah, yeah. sort of video, oh, so. We're at some point gonna ride that one some more. Uh, okay, let's see here. Project Bruise Banana, there's been a couple videos on that recently, so you guys know where we're at with that. What else? Soon that should be coming together. Uh, Jurassic Park unit, so we haven't had it on video recently, but a lot has been happening in the background, getting ready to, you know, make the next wave on this thing. So the engine is in process. The engine guy has been working on that, feeding us all sorts of pictures and information. It looks beyond awesome. The transmission and the differential are being built. So we are very close to having a, you know, the parts we need to be able to mock up the engine transmission and rear diff in this thing. So within the next two weeks, we're gonna get into heavy fab work, new cage, chassis reinforcements, you know, running extra rails, getting all our mounting um, points in for the engine transmission. So that's gonna really take off here soon. Lots happening there. Uh, beast mode. Just doing beast mode stuff. So we do have uh, some cool things from AEM coming for that. So you should see an episode on that soon. We're gonna put a CD7 dash in it. That's gonna be really neat. It's gonna allow us to do some cool things with that machine. Um, the Baker, you know, she's, uh, she's doing pretty good. Maybe needs a new battery, leaks a little bit. No big deal. Working great though. Lifting stuff all the time, every day. I think that's all the vehicles we have here. The Ox <laughs> is probably 3,000 miles overdue for an oil change, but it's still running, doing good. Nick's Raptor. You know, I was gonna say, Rick put some fresh oil on it, so it's, it's not as bad as it seems. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Raptor's just wrapped hard. Did 105 on the way here today. Didn't tell nobody until right now. <laughs> Oof. Anyway. I think that's it though, Ann. Another good day out here. It's a lot of work getting a new shop up and running from scratch. It takes a lot, a lot of stuff. But we, uh, you know, are super appreciative of the opportunity to do this and the fact that we're able to actually do it with your support. I mean, you're talking, okay. <laughs>
feel like I did something wrong. Are you okay? Why won't you take a lie detector <laughs> test? <laughs> <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Anyways, like I was saying, thank you guys very much for all the support. Oh, we were going to talk about how much all this stuff costs. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, get some receipts Dang. out, dude. Okay, we got some receipts. Let's just cut to the receipts real quick. Oh, we got a bunch right here. Screw it. We need some sort of table. Some sort of table. Oh, right there, dude. Snap on table. Or let's do it on the whiteboard, dude. We got a ton of sensitive information over there. We can't oh, talk about side. that. Oh, yeah. There's serious information on there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's some, some secrets on there. So listen, this is what we did today, okay? This is how we were. Then we drove around here, and this is how we are now. <laughs> then you stick this out, boom. Do the math, dude, right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. okay. How much we stop so, at our first stop? Harbor man? Freight Tools, four hundred seventy dollars and seventeen cents. Harbor let's, let's Freight. Let's show them. Let's show them the receipt. H so four seventy seventeen. So a lot of stuff here. Four seventy and seventeen cents, dude. What, what is that I symbol? I wouldn't worry about it right now. Keep going. What else you got, dude? The Home the Depot. Like home we spent seven hundred and sixteen dollars and twenty eight cents. Hell, Listen, what? We got a lot of stuff. Okay, relax. Okay. This is all things we need. Okay, Sam's Club. This is another oh, the banger. This is another banger. Sam's Club. We spent seven hundred eighteen dollars and four cents. Ooh. Wow, those were almost. Look at these right here. If you connect them together, right, and you take this and you subtract it, but you add this right here, dude, it equals something. Uh, was that all of them? Yeah, we went to three places today. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. we went to okay. Sam's twice. Oh, wait, no, Nick, just do the math. This is so simple. Just carry over. Yeah, hold on. Let me do the math for oh, you. Oh, come on, dude. Don't come 17 on me, 17 plus 28. 38 hey, plus 7. Hey, 45, hey, do your own math, dude. 49. Do your own math. 49. Put 49 here. Hold on one second. Uh-huh. You remember when the uh, teacher said uh, you can't have calculators? Yeah, I remember. Not going to be able to have a calculator in your pocket, are you? Okay, that... Yeah. Told you 49. That was cheating, though. Hey, I'm just doing work smart, not hard, dude. <laughs> So yeah, nineteen hundred dollars worth of stuff. I mean, that's a lot. Uh... Maybe circle it in green for money. Where's the green at? I mean, <laughs> so it's a lot of money. It's a lot of it's a lot of stuff. But where'd you put the green, Douglas? I don't know. Doug, he's got a problem. He steals permanent markers. It's been a problem for years. <laughs> And we can't figure out how to, you know, fix the solution. But anyways, back to this. This is what we spent. It's basically 1905 bucks. 19, yeah, it's a lot of money, but it's a lot of stuff. So obviously, thank you guys very much for putting us in a position to be able to do that. A lot of you might be saying, hey, you could have gotten a lot of that used off Marketplace or Craigslist or wherever. And yeah, that's true, but the amount of time it takes to go through and buy every one of these little items used, it's just, it's too much. You know, we can't, we can't afford to take that time kind of time we got to get this place rolling so we did the best we could in terms of deals and just doing what we got to do boom so. done yeah and let's not forget we're trying to run a pro shop here dude yeah. can't be doing that with used freaking you gotta get a good bounty of you know reliable and also pro equipment if you want to be pro we want to be reliable and we want to be cro pro so yeah also a crow but also if you crow it's a good movie dude <laughs> friendly r.i.p dude uh, so yeah, trying to do this right. I feel really good about everything we got today. Obviously, we got a lot more stuff to get, but thank you guys very much for being with us. Wanted to share with you what's uh, what's going on and <laughs> our adventure getting this place up and running. So thanks again. Thanks to everybody donating on Patreon, buying parts on the parts site. Uh, thank you to everybody who's subscribing. You guys are absolutely huge. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. We've got a lot more stuff coming. Outfit in the shop. We'll show you guys what we're doing. We got a ton of projects coming. We got a ton of rides coming. Cool trips. Like it's gonna be a crazy, crazy year. So thanks again. We'll see you in a couple of days. He's right. Give me that marker, Doug. I don't have the Why marker. Why won't you take a lie detector test, Doug? <laughs> we're all right right now. Come on, dude. Oh, this has got a win here. Oh, I almost got a oh. thousand again, dude. Come on, first person to win wins, dude. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh! Oh, that would've been neat. This is like a slot tournament right here, dude. That's how they do on cruise ships. I'm screwed, I gotta go back to coins, dude. Oh! Oh crap, come on, that dude. That was a good bounty right there. Oh, man. so good. Come on!
Man, this song's oh doing so hot. Come dude, she ain't burning right, dude. She ain't burning right. Oh! Oh, I won. That was four. That was, that was freaking four? 20 bucks. All right, fine. 